my baby, what is going on today? Your mommy's been doing videos all day and I accidentally deleted your video. So we're doing it again. And I just did cancer's read as well. And someone was interfering, something or someone like, there was like someone didn't want me to speak uh, for cancer because they were dealing with a very naughty boo -boo. And with you, I will see what's going on with you. Cause then uh, your first video was fine, but I deleted it on accident and then I've been trying to do this video and my technology keeps failing and I know I break technology because of all my psychic psychic stuff that's a well-known part of my <laughs> brand this is my brand I break technology just by existing but um you know also all that ends well you get the beautiful view the sun is just has just set it's just setting so like the sky there's like a 20 minute window in in the horizon here where it's just like so magical look at the look at the old mosque looking so scriptious all right so <laughs> Bell. Welcome to Cyprus. So uh, we're, do we're actually doing your general energy vibe check today. We're going to see uh, what is going on with Tilly. Not, <laughs> see? <gasps> ah, not you and your person. My crowns is cute. Uh, it's not you and your person. It is your general energy vibe check. But I feel like a person is interfering. So it is your person or a past person who's interfering with this reading and didn't want me to do a new new love reading for you. So we're doing the general energy vibe check. We're gonna see what new fishies are coming in, who's in, who's out, you know, who got deleted from the database. Trust, it's the deleted uh, interfering bit belt. So let's see, please show me angels of love. What is happening for my baby? Just give me a second, Gemini. Gemini bit belt, your mommy's back, you will not believe this i am telling you someone but bill this, this i know this is disjointed but this is how magic works okay so let's just focus on what's going on here right now uh that was my delivery it came like super super early <sighs> mommy's gotta eat okay anyway that was my delivery person because i have to deliver everything here because the stories are very far away like you just everyone has a car here and i don't so anyway so um okay he was here like half an hour early and they're always late, so it is what it is. So something's, you know, someone's trying to come back to you, Bipu. Someone's trying to prevent you from knowing what good things are coming your way. Look, see, the darkness is upon us. You can still see uh, the mosque, though. They call it the Jami. I, in Greek, it's Jami. Okay, never mind. Who cares? I know you don't care. I mean, I care. We all care. We love Greece. All right. <laughs> okay, now I'm just getting crazy. Somebody wants you back, Gemini. I can already feel it. Uh, the person who betrayed you. They don't want you to move on though. And cancer got a similar thing. I wonder, you know, if you have a cancer placements in your chart, what a day of readings. It's been so symbolic and beautiful and magical. And sometimes that's how it is, you know? Something that should have taken me two hours took like seven. <laughs> oh, I love my, but I love it. You know, this is my life. Um, but yeah, someone who betrayed you really doesn't want to let you go. The five of swords. This is your recent past. This is the fishy that was deleted because of their bad behavior. Now, you know, now, is that unexpected that delivery person came so unexpectedly right but i could see them from my hair from the second floor you know i have a good view i'm like a little prince little princess in the tower you know witch in the tower uh you know what i'm saying so you know i could see that person so it's almost like you can feel it you can feel the energy of that person this is someone from your recent past or someone you just had an argument with you just just had a falling out with uh who's coming back towards you energetically at least and you can kind of feel it i think you see them in your dreams but they did you a big bit boo so let's continue let, let me just put the cards down <laughs> okay this gemini this is, you know what remember you had that chaotic reading at the medieval castle in limassol um um, <clears throat> here in Cyprus. So, you know, I wonder if like, you know, some of you might be dealing with like a chaotic person or someone who like, you know, it's like a whirlwind, whirlwind thing where that person keeps like trying to get you back in, but they're not doing the right thing. So five of swords, yeah, betrayal. The one who betrayed you wants to um, get you back in some kind of a way. But is it healthy though? Judgment, yes, and it's an on and off. So this is someone you were breaking up and making up cats and dogs. It was on and off. They could have been in two minds about being in a really late relationship as well, or even in two minds about being in a relationship with you, which is scandalous, all right, Gemini? It's scandalous because everybody wants to be in a relationship with a Gemini. But this was a douche flute. This was someone who didn't appreciate you. What was the betrayal? the wheel of fortune they did something unexpected they blindsided you they could have left all of a sudden they could have gone silent all of a sudden the wheel of fortune it was really unexpected they did you a big big, big, big surprise but it was a very unpleasant surprise they do not deserve you big, big. yeah two of wands someone who moved on but they didn't really 
You know what I'm saying? It's like they moved on, but they didn't really move on. They were hoping you would chase. They were hoping you'd be like holding a place for them still in your life and your heart. <laughs> yeah, dream on. Also, Gemini, before we get into your person's chaos, all right, just know that I see other things coming in. We got loads of options. That's why the energy is so like constricting today. That's why I'm telling we, I will I will do this reading no matter what, like even if it takes another day. Um, but, but welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. You know your mommy loves you. You're my lucky stars. I'm a scrapey sun and rising, but I feel like I lead a Gemini lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really vibe with you, Bippos, and thank you so much for vibing with me. Uh, it's uh, It's been uh, a while since I started the channel and Gemini's have always been my lucky stars and I know you watch my videos so thank you thank you thank you and yeah just thank you for the love and for understanding me you know the place that I'm coming from and for uh, vibing with me uh all right so yeah two of cups this is your own energy you're coming into your own that's why this person's so mad they're so mad because they can feel energetically that you're moving on two of cups is your minor arcana of the lovers that's your, uh, you know, that's you in the tarot. So you're coming back into yourself. You're rediscovering yourself. You're feeling stronger and you're ready for new love. This person hates that. What's crossing you is an apology, but it's cracking down tears, baby. The Six of Pentacles. Also, the thing you ask the universe for is materializing in the next six hours, six days, six weeks. So, so you know, particularly if you asked for love or you asked for a rich bippo, sugar daddy, sugar mommy, anyone in between, like whatever it was, or someone who has riches of the soul, you know, someone who has a lot to contribute. Either way, this person's very near and an apology is coming from the douche flute who betrayed you because they wanted to move on. They chose themselves, you know, but it was a surprise. So it's like someone sneakily planned something and then blindsided you for some of you. I hate to say this, Gemini, but you could be dealing with a treacherous Scipio. Okay, it's not one of, not one of my Scipios, but it could be a treacherous Scipio. Uh, the higher font is coming your way. So a new relationship is on the horizon, but boo. Uh, tourist season, Libra Eclipse is bringing in a lot of new things. One door closes, another one opens on March 24th, 25th. So bear that in mind. Uh, I'm saying this to all the boo-boos. So many people say not to manifest on an eclipse um, or a dark moon, you know, like all those uh, things. Uh, I do manifest and do magic on those occasions. I feel like a lot of my magic is stronger on the eclipses. So um, I'm just here to remind you, you can still manifest and do magic if you feel called to. If you feel like you shouldn't, don't do it. But, uh, you know, this Libra eclipse could be a very powerful period for you to prepare and open the door for a new energy. And it is someone who has Taurus energy in them. We're coming in Taurus season, but though. Or both. Uh, the Five of Wands. <sighs> What you're not expecting is the betrayer is coming back. For some of you also, this is disgusting and nasty, but I'm going to say it even though I don't want to out loud. But for some of you, if you were in a, a long-term relationship with this person, they almost like chose someone else over you. Like they left and they were like, I'm dating, you know, my tennis instructor and he's like 20 years younger than you kind of thing. You know, it's like, yeah, it was like such a cliche. Like whatever they did was a cliche and it was like, ew, you know, slimy and icky. And they want to come back. They want to come back because you're the only one who can help them. You're the only one who is the Gemini. And you are the only one who is at the sparkle. And only you have the crown. You know what I'm saying? Ten of Cups in the long term. Happiness awaits, Gemini. Just the kind of sparkly happiness that you uh, deserve. Gemini, I always say this. You're always, you know, you're always the soul of the party. But you're so misunderstood by people. And I feel like Scorpio is too. And, you know, that's why we've, we vibe. We get each other. Because, um, you know, people don't understand that Gemini is not, like, two-sided. Gemini is not two, like, you know, all the negative things, like, two-faced. Like, they say Scorpio is treacherous or Scorpio is, you know, vengeful. Um, it's not about that. It's just that you're so multidimensional. And you see things from so many different perspectives. And you can't help it. So when you're with people, you tend to be very charming. People think it's a game. But it's not really a game. It's, like, not a game in the sense of being like a low vibrational game, like playing manipulative games. You're just very playful in a very beautiful, childlike, <clears throat> high vibrational, angelic way. That is the core of the Gemini vibe. And you see things from all these different perspectives. Just like the, you know, original angels in the um, Hebrew Bible, they have like, you know, many eyes and stuff like that be because they can see so many things from many different uh, viewpoints. And it's kind of like, 
you know, these descriptions, scary descriptions of the archangels that they're like, you know, um, they have like a hundred eyes and stuff like that. That's Gemini energy. That's why you're so angelic. That's why people don't get you um, because often they don't have the imagination or the intelligence to see things from this perspective. So uh, just know that, you know, you're going to have this happiness because you're so sparkly and you have a hundred or a thousand eyes just like the archangels. And that's why people flock to you. That's why you're the soul of the party. Not because you're trying to be, not because you're putting on the charm, but just because you understand humanity. You're like, you know, like you're just there. You're ethereal. I love you so much. <laughs> anyway, that's enough sucking up to the Gemini. Oh, but Bill, it's true though. I feel like I should write a book about why I like Gemini's and why they're misunderstood. Because it really is, it's the same as Scorpio, like people just don't get it. Um, but yeah, the Ten of Cups is your crowning energy. Your happiness will be yours. Um, and, you know, don't let this douche flute. Someone's trying to interfere with your happiness in the next six hours, six days, six weeks. Someone's going to bring you an apology, but Bill. They don't want you to know that you can have something else. What is the advice for my Gemini? The lover is you. Remember who you are. But, but you can't make this stuff up. Like, this is pure magic. Pure magic from the island of the goddess Aphrodite. You know what? I'm so blessed to be doing these reads for you. My Pippa, like, the fact that I can speak these things, and they, and this is the kind of messages we get, is just incredible. The lovers, don't forget who you are, baby. You make the choices. Someone chose, someone made a bad choice. And they don't want to allow you to make your choices. They don't want to allow you to make better choices. There's other choices out there, baby beautiful choices. The world is your oyster. You might actually have two other, <laughs> you might have two other candidates for, um, you know, to give your heart to. So take your time, enjoy yourself, enjoy, you know, vibing with yourself and enjoy loving yourself for now. And someone new is coming, tourist season, but Bill, something new is coming any, any day now. By the end of tourist season, I feel like you have someone new, you have new opportunities and you could have two different people coming in as well. All right, my boo, boo this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for personal readings. All the info is down below. Uh, and yeah, tell me who this douche flute is because like they're breaking my cameras today. I love you, my baby. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, <coughs> stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm. And thank the goddess we actually did this video. Mm -hmm.